بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد. So we're moving on to al fa'l muta'addi ila maf'ulain. A lot of the information has already come before. A few a few new things inshallah we'll explain as we go along inshallah. So we have al babul awwal regarding fa'l, we have al fa'l al-qiyasi, al fa'l al-lazim al fa'l muta'addi. In fa'l muta'addi you have al fa'l muta'addi ila maf'ulin wahid has already come before. Now we have al fa'l muta'addi ila maf'ulain. And then thalatha al-mafa'il I'll come up shortly inshallah. So again, a lot of this is the same text as the Wusta. We're not repeating the same text from the Wusta, inshallah. So, Adarbu Thani, Al Mafu, Al Fa'l Mutadi La Mafulain. Then we have here, Wahuwa Thani, two types. Al Awalu Fa'lun Laysa Mafula, who Mubtada and Wahabran Fil Asri, exact same text from Wusta. An example of this we have here, Wahadayna, who Masserat Al Mustaqib. And we guide them to the straight path. Okay? Now, in this one here, Wahadayna, Huma. This is what? Hadayna, Huma, as Maful Bihi Awal. Asarat al Mustafim Maful Bihi Thani. And it's not Muftar and Khabar Fil Asri, and that's already been explained in Wusta. Now, this uh, type of this type of Fa'l Muta'addi la Maf'ulain, where the Muftar is not Muftar and Khabar, this is usually in verbs that have the meaning of to give, to give, to bestow. Adaynahum ay a'taynahum al Hidayah. We gave them Hidayah. Razaqtuhu, Kasawtuhu, Albastuhu. So the kind of meaning of to give, you give one person another thing. So, majority, this, this, this kind of verb comes in that meaning. فهمت؟ أتشا. For example, أعطى منها وهب كسا ألبس سما علم. You have علم as well. علم هو something. علم هو كسا هو رزق هو رزق. All of these are examples of this. فهم؟ أتشا. Now this is a new must I not mentioned before. يجوز حذف المفعول الأول. So even though a verb may have two مفعولs, it is possible to remove one of the two مفعولs. What can you do? You don't have to mention both of them. It, it comes with two, you can remove one of them. For example, wa inna kala tahdi ila sirati mustaqim. So look, the maf'ul bihi, the uh, awal is mahzuf. The tahdi, inna kala tahdi nasa. You guide people as mahzuf. And ila sirati mustaqim comes with the maf'ul bihi, thani ghay sari, not sari. Okay, now, uh, here we mention. Uh, that we have two types, you know. ila sirati mustaqim in this verse. You have ila in this verse. Yes? And in other verses you have sirat al mustaqim directly. In the previous example we had what? Wala hadayna hum sirat al mustaqim. The maf'ul bihi comes sarih. And here it comes what? Ghay sarih. So one, one of the reasons that, is, that people have mentioned is that when you have ila, uh, after ila, we've done the already. When you have until, until does not necessarily mean including. If, for example, wamsahu warju wa ila marafik. So wash your hands up to the marafik. Marafik means the elbows. Now is ila included or not? You say yes. I, that's what majority of scholars have said. But there's one or two scholars who said no, it's not included. It's best to wash the elbows, and you should wash it as a farad. But there is one or two who don't because why? Ila does not necessarily mean it is included. So when you put ila, it shows basically. If you say, for example, this is asir, if you say this is asirat al mustaqim, and if you say ila, ila is until here. Is it included or not? We're not sure. It's two possibilities. And when you when you say ihdin asirat al mustaqim, when it's maful bihi, it means what? Guide us into the right path. You following? So when you do dua, you use ihdin asirat al mustaqim, not ihdin ila asirat al mustaqim, because you're basically saying guide us to, but it's not. Necessarily included, and do I want to be more humble, or more begging? Like, so you say, oh, Allah, guide us into the straight path, as opposed to to the straight path. Guide us onto the straight path, not to the straight path. Are you following? And regarding Prophet Allah says, "Inna katahdi ila sirat mustaqim." So you show, you show the people the straight path, and for them to come onto it, that's their own option now. You can't put them onto the path. You can put, take them to the path, whether they come onto it or not. Is their, is their, is their, is their choice. Are you following? So the faida of having ila uh, sari and ghay sari is mentioned in here. Okay, so in dua, you say ihdina sirat al mustaqim why? Diyardin fi tadarru. So it's more tadarru, more humility in the dua. Fahim? And tam'an fil isal. So you can get to the objective without any shak. Acha. Wa yajuzu hazfu al maf'ul thani. Sometimes you can have the opposite way around. What can you have? You mention a maf'ul bihi awwal and remove the thani. 
So ulaika ladina hadahum Allah. Allah guided them to what? Not mention. Al mafud bihi thani is mahzuf and mafud awal bihi is mentioned. So you can do these things in these kind of verbs. And sometimes you can remove both mafuds. So mafud bihi means it can have a mafud. Fel uh, mutaaddi, sorry. Means it can have a mafud. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to have those mafuds mentioned each time. Acha. The second time of the second time of maful al fa'il mutaaddi la maful hain is fa'ilun mafulahu mubtadun wa khabarun fil asl. And the example of this we have in here is dhan ahmadu khalidan sadiqan. And you can say, for example, another example is ma adunnu saat qaima ma adunnu saat qaima ma adunnu saat qaima. I do not think that our will be established. So now we have maful bi awal. Maf'ul bihi thani and originally moved to the khabar ruling. Yes? Acha. Now, this is not mentioned before. We'll mention it here. Yusamma al fa'lu alladhi laysa maf'ulahu mubtada'an wa khabaran fil asli fa'la jariha. So, that fa'l, whose, uh, whose two maf'uls are, are not originally mubtada'an khabar, are called fa'lu jariha. Jaraha yajrahu jarhan literally means to wound something. To wound something, cause a wound on somebody. And jaraha means carry out actions basically. Yes, the, action, the, the hand does things. So, the action, so all the af'al, fa'al is called fa'lul jariha, as opposed to fa'lul qalb. Are you following? And the fa'al, whose two mafuz are actually mubtara and khaba, what do you call them? Fa'lul qalb, or fa'lul tahwil, depending on what meaning it gives. Now, because fa'lul jariha is default, what is this? It's default, so you don't have to call every fa'al fa'al jariha. Samia is fa'al jariha. Yes? Masha is fa'al jariha. You following? But you don't have to say akala, fa'al jariha. Shamma, fa'al jariha. Because all the fa'al jariha is default, you don't have to mention it. Yes? The main time you will see this is when, for example, a verb can be both fa'al qalb and jariha. Like, for example, it's coming up later on, like the word ra'a. What does the word ra'a mean? Or to think? Depends. To see or to think. So if you say that now because it can be used both ways, you will have to say Ra'a al Jariha. Or Raha Ra'a al Qalbiya. Now it's an option, that's why you have to mention it. But normally you wouldn't mention Jari because that's default. Do you understand? Okay. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallah wa bihamdika wa nashadwala ilaha illa anta wa nastaqfiruka wa natubu ilaika.